السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی ٹیکنالوجی اسمارٹ اینڈ ٹیک سیوی یونٹ نمبر فور اینڈ سالو اینڈ اٹ سالو ایکسرسائزیز This essay has been taken from Digital Quality of Life, written by Robert D. Atkinson and Daniel D. Castro. They examine how digital technology impacts the quality of life in different countries. The authors argue that the adoption and quality of digital technology are crucial for improving various aspects of life, including economic opportunities, access to services, and overall well-being. Digital quality of life underscores the transformative power of digital technology in shaping modern societies and argues for policies that support digital advancements to enhance the quality of life globally. The key points of this essay are digital infrastructure. The book emphasizes the importance of robust digital infrastructure such as high-speed internet as a foundation for enhancing quality of life. Countries with better digital infrastructure tend to offer better services and opportunities to their citizens. Economic Impact Digital technology plays a significant role in economic development. It enables businesses to operate more efficiently, fosters innovations, and create new jobs opportunities. The authors argue that digital advancements contribute to economic growth and competitiveness. Access and Inclusion The book discusses the importance of ensuring that digital technology is accessible to all segments of society, including underserved and marginalized communities. Access to digital tools and services is critical for equitable economic and social development. Quality of Life and Metrics Atkinson and Castro introduces metrics for measuring digital quality of life such as internet speed, digital skills, and the availability of digital services. These metrics help assess how well countries are leveraging digital technology to improve living standards. Global Comparisons Their book provides a comparative analysis of various countries highlighting how differences in digital infrastructure and policies impact overall quality of life. It identifies leading countries in digital quality and offers insights into best practices. Coming to exercise number one which consists of words and their contextual meaning. The first word is innovation which means introduction of something new or change. Optimists who expects a favorable outcome. Manipulate means operate arrange, influence, or manage. Heraldate means message or heraldry. Hazards mean obstacles, peril, risk, or danger. Hurricane mean tropical cyclone or a wind scale. Number seven, proliferate means to multiply or to increase. Impending means approaching or drawing near. Calamities, which means disasters, events resulting in great loss. The last one, number 10, is lesson. It means to diminish, to reduce, or make less. In exercise number 2, we have to make different words using the word tally and their description. The first word is telephone, which means a device used for speaking to distant places by means of electrical signals. Number two, telepointer. It is a device used for pointing or indicating remotely. Number three, telemedicine. The providing medical care remotely using telecommunications technology. Number four, telecom. The transmissions of information over distances using various forms of technology. Number five, telepresence. Technologies and systems designed to provide the feeling of being present at a location other than your own. Number six, teleschool. Educational program or system that leverage technology to provide learning experiences remotely. Number seven, television. 
It is a device used for transmitting and receiving moving images and sound over a distance. Number 8. Telemarketing A form of direct marketing where businesses use telephone calls to promote products or services, solicit donations, or gather information from potential to existing customers. Exercise number 3 consisting of MCQs The first one is Digital Revolution mainly depends on Dej. The correct answer is B. Improved life. Number 2. During World War II, transmission of information was in Dej. The correct answer is number B. Analog. Number 3. Dej is the technological option to work in dangerous situation. The correct answer is option C. Telepresence. Number 4. It is technology that people get things better according to their dish. The correct answer is number C. Needs. Number 5. E-learning can only be possible through. The correct answer is B. Internet. Number 6. People get information through dish to help them better understand a medical condition. The correct answer is number C, telemedicine. Number 7, bits used to record or transmit information in DASH form. The correct answer is number B, digital. Number 8, DASH is an example of hydrological disaster. The correct answer is option C, floods. Number 9. Dash technology assesses environmental changes and diseases predictions. The correct answer is option A. Remote sensing. Number 10. A bulk population as disasters risks may be located by Dash. The correct option is B. Satellite images. Exercise number 4 consists of few sentences out of which few are false and few are true. Let's see statement number one. Use of technology can be harmful for our environment. This statement is false. Number two. First use of technology was related to waves. The answer is correct. During World War II, the use of technology was not familiar. Well, the answer is true and correct. Number four. All tele devices may function with traditional type. This statement is not correct. Number five. An e-learning can only be possible without internet, which is truly false. Number 6. People can also purchase and sell things via internet. Well, the statement is correct and true. Statement number 7 and 8 both are incorrect and false. Coming to the question and answers. The first question is, what do you mean by technological revolution? Answer. The technological revolution refers to a significant and rapid transformation in technology that leads to major changes in society, economy and culture. It involves innovations that alter how people live and work, impacting production methods, creating new industries, and shifting job markets. This revolution changes daily life, communication, and social interactions, while enhancing global connect connectivity and fostering cultural shifts. The examples of technological revolutions are industrial revolution and the digital revolution. Question number two, why did innovation information remain scarce at the time of World War II? Answer, during World War II, innovation in information technology was scarce due to res resource allocation focused on the war, a military-centric research approach, secrecy limited, collaboration in adequate infrastructure, and a work workforce storage as skilled workers were enlisted for military services. Question number three, how is technology boon for students? Answer: Technology is a boon for students as it provides easy access to information, enhanced learning through interaction tools, facilities, online college, collaboration, offers personalized learning experiences, and helps develop essential digital skills. 
It also supports a flexible learning environments and making education more engaging and accessible. Question number 4 what are the benefits of e-commerce in today's world? Answer, e-commerce offers numerous benefits including convenience with 24-7 shopping, a wider product selection, cost savings through competitive pricing, reduced operational costs for business, and easy access to global markets. It also allows for personalized shopping experiences and faster transactions enhancing customer satisfaction. Question number five, how does technology work in environmentally risked areas? Answer. Technology aids in environmentally risk areas by providing tools for monitoring and assessments such as satellite imaging and sensors for detecting pollution. It enables efficient resources management supporting disaster responses with real-time data and promotes renewable energy solutions. Question number six. How has technology greatly supported doctors and medical precautioners? Answer. Technology has greatly supported doctors and medical precautioners by improving diagnostic tools like imaging and lab testing, enhancing patient monitoring with wearable devices and facilitating telemedicine for remote consultations. Electric health records, streamline patient information management while artificial intelligence and data analytics aid in treatment planning and research, ultimately improving patients' care and outcomes. Question number seven, how does technology secure humans from calamities? Answer, technology secures humans from calamities through early warning systems that alert people to impending disasters, predictive analytics and assess risks, advanced materials that enhance infrastructure, resilience and communication tools that facilitate rapid response and coordination. Additionally, innovations in healthcare like tel telemedicine and emergency response drones improving recovery efforts and provide timely assistance during crisis. Question number eight. Some people have opinion that youngsters are not safe in technological era. Give reasons for your agreement or disagreement. I disagree with this notion that youngsters aren't safe in the technological era, as technology also offers tools for education, communication, and safety. For example, apps for monitoring well-being, resources for mental health, and platforms for learning empower youth. While there are risks like cyberbullying and privacy concerns, educating young people about digital literacy and online safety can help mitigate these dangers, ultimately making the technological landscapes a safer space for them. Question number 9. Which technology innovation has impacted you profoundly and how? Answer. One technology innovation that has profoundly impacted me is artificial intelligence, particularly in natural language processing. It has enabled more sim seamless communication and information assess transforming how people interact with technology. This advancement allows for personalized experiences, enhanced productivity and deeper understanding across various fields. It's fascinating to see how artificial intelligence can assist in creative tasks, problem solving and even emotional support, making it a powerful tool in daily life and work. Question number 10. How did technology contribute in keeping people's lives safe during the recent pandemic or disasters? Answer. During the recent pandemic, technology played a crucial role in keeping people safe through telehealth services that allowed for remote medical consultation, reducing the risk of virus transmission. Contact tracing apps help identify exposure to the virus while data analytica provides real-time insights into infection rates and help to guide public health responses. Communication platforms enable social distancing by keeping people connected and e-learning technologies ensure education continued safely. Additionally, innovations in vaccine development facilitated by advanced technologies accelerated the distribution of life-saving treatments. Overall, technology was essential in managing health risk and maintaining social stability during the crisis. Thank you so much for watching.